Hello everyone, welcome back to the channel. We have another new video here today. We have Ralph Ragnick as the manager of Manchester United. As it's looking very, very obvious now that he will take over as an interim period of time with Manchester. Um, we will see if he can fix the issues in and around of what happened at Manchester. Ole Gunnar Solskjaer has left. He got sacked, sadly for Ole. I think it was the right time for them to get rid of him. I think they just weren't performing as well as they should have. So, we will indeed see how Ralph gets on. Fingers crossed he can fix Manchester United's problems. We're going to simulate about the first season you'll see and then you'll see the fifth season and we'll just go back from there and basically just see what he's done over his career and see if he actually stays at Manchester United. Fingers crossed everything goes well for him and we'll see some of his mega big signings at Manchester. If you haven't already, drop a comment down below about who you are using on Football Manager this year and also subscribe to the channel if you haven't already and leave a thumbs up on this video and I will see you at the end of Season 1 and we'll find out how Ralph has got on with his first season at Manchester. We are now one year after Ralph Ragnick took over at Manchester United. We're going to dive straight in and find out how he got on at his first season at Manchester. So what we're going to do is obviously type in Manchester, find out how we got on. They finished fourth. Oh, and it looks like he already isn't there, which is which is pretty bad because I thought I was going to be doing five years of simulation with this. But anyway, see when he got sacked. Um, he lasted a whole of 223 days and then was sacked from Manchester United. Obviously didn't win anything with them. And then from there they've now got Gabriel Mil Milano, I think it's pronounced. They've now got him, the ex-Juventus manager. Okay, so we'll we'll have a look at how Ralph got on. If he signed anyone, what he did when he was there. Um, let's have a little look down the list. Um, by the looks of it, he signed Neto for £40 million. That's an interesting one. Okay, that's very interesting to see. Um, obviously, Ronaldo Varane were already there. Patrick Berg, I'm presuming he wasn't there. Um, by the looks of it, he signed there. He signed him. Um, signed Samuel from Tenerife, I'm presuming. Okay, he played 15 games for them as well. That's interesting. Um, signed another one. I'm not going to attempt to pronounce his name. Uh, I'm just going to say his name is Anil. Um, he played 24 games for them. Okay. Um, got a young star. Obviously, didn't play any games. Then they got Paulinho. And a free transfer. He only played three games for them. Okay, that's interesting. Um, okay. Right, so he didn't really sign many players um, when he took over at Manchester. We'll see how he got on. So, obviously, when he started, he went on a win streak, really. Won his first three games on the bounce very easily. Um, what kind of team was he playing? So let's have a look. His first Premier League game of the season, he played a 4-4-2. Alright, that's interesting. Ronaldo and Greenwood up top. Lingard, Pogba, Fernandez, and Ahmed. Um, Luke Shaw, Maguire, Varane, Wan-Bissaka and De Gea. Okay, that's that's really interesting. So obviously the one first game against Burnley two nil um went on to beat Wolves three nil. Did he still play the four four two against Wolves? He did. He did he played the exact same team as as again as no no he didn't. He put Dalot in. Alright, that's interesting. Right, so obviously how did he get on in the group stage? He the won the group stage of the Champions League. Hmm. They only lost one game as well. They lost that against Monaco, 3-2. It's very interesting. So, how? let's find out how he did in the actual Champions League itself. How do I do that again? Here we go. Stages. I don't want to be in the group. 
So first round of knockout stages. Oh my god, they got me free one off of Villarreal. Alright. Um, so, let's have a look. Drew 1-1 one, one at home with them. Um, still playing that 4-4-2. Four, four, Looks like a very strong team. It's very strange to see Neto on goal instead of De Gea. I'd probably prefer to keep De Gea in net. Um, okay, that's a very interesting. They absolutely dominated Villarreal at home. I mean, you would expect it. But that is very, very interesting of how they managed to then lose 3-1. It Villarreal. Okay. Very, very interesting. Um... Let's have a look. So, obviously, the last time it's Villarreal, Chelsea went on to win the cup. Okay. Bruno Fernandes had the second best rating, average rating in the actual Champions League itself. See Lionel Messi at the top there. It's very nice to see. Uh, Jadon Sancho, obviously he came third in there. That's very interesting as well. Let's have a look at player stats. Did anyone did Ronaldo come up there? He did, but he Ronaldo only got six goals in the Champions League. That's a shock. I thought he would have got a lot more. Um so next thing's next. Obviously Manchester United. How did they get on in the Carabao Cup? So it's obviously not a big one, but it is another cup. So Manchester United they went through from the fourth round, beating him switch three two. They got Beat off Brentford and penalties. Well, that's that's very shocked. I'm very shocked at that. Who did they play against Brentford? Who they played that four four two? They did. They played a really strong side. How did they get beat off Brentford with that team? Brentford, I mean, it. Yeah, Brentford just sort of held the game with the five at the back. Hats off to Brentford. Who? Cristiano Ronaldo missed his penalty. Oh my lord! That that's that's incredible. Ronaldo must have had a very, very strange year. Um, the next one, the FA Cup. We'll have a look at that. Um, obviously, they went through the third round. Fourth round, they won 2-1 against Norwich. Fifth round, they got beat 2-1 against Arsenal in extra time. Okay, interesting. So, same sort of team again. Yeah, and once again, very, very shocked. They played really well according to the match stats. I mean, it's just sort of what not collude for Manchester United this season at all. Um, did I just see Leicester? Yeah, Leicester won the, the, the FA Cup. Beat Liverpool 3 1. Wow, that's, that's interesting. Okay, so obviously. He would have got sacked about just coming towards the end of the season, I'm presuming. But other than that, he really went on and just got some results. So they finished fourth in the Premier League, Manchester United. Um, Ronaldo, top goal scorer. That's very interesting. Jaden Sancho finished with 12 assists. Overall, Manchester United... They lost eight games in that competition. They lost 3-0 against Tottenham, 3-1 against Newcastle, 3-1 against Man City, 3-2 against Liverpool, 2-1 against Burnley, 3-2 at home against Wolves. Okay. Arsenal lost against them, 3-2, and at home against Liverpool lost 2-1. Okay, so they just lost results that really needed to go in their favour, sadly. So, it makes sense of why he's been sacked, obviously. No Champions League, no FA Cup, no Carabao Cup. I know the Carabao Cup's not that massive, but it's still a trophy for Man United. Um, they're also no Premier League title, they're finishing fourth. I mean, what else can you expect? We'll go and have a look at the actual side itself. Um, so, obviously, we'll go through the... Starting from the top, basically. Let's sort that out by... Um, Actually, no, we'll sort it out by who's actually playing on the pitch. Dean Henderson, obviously, played 15 games for them. Had an actual decent season for them. And it's nice to see Dean Henderson doing something. Delort, not really that good at all. I mean, three assists in 38 games, it's really not good at all. 
Um, the young lad that obviously came in didn't really play that well. 24 games. Absolutely crazy how he didn't play that well. Um, Maguire. How did Maguire get on? Because he normally seems to have a good season, Maguire, my saves. He played alright according to this uh, average rating. He got three assists as a centre back. It's pretty interesting. Um, Alex Tells um, played nine games. It's a shock to see. This is this guy here. I thought he would have succeeded massively in real life. I'm very shocked that he hasn't. The young 19-year-old that they've decided to play quite a bit this season. He's played outstanding for being um, 19 years old. He's played really, really well for Manchester. Bruno Fernandes, one of the really top dogs in my opinion in this league. 37 games, 8 goals, 9 assists, 4 men of the matches, 7.2 rain. To be quite honest, I was expecting a lot more assists from Bruno. Because he tends to bag a lot. I mean a lot on my past FM saves. Um, obviously Pogba didn't really play that well, sadly for Pogba. Jaden Sancho, how did you get on? Played well. Obviously got the most assists in the league, with six goals, nine man of the matches. Nice to see Sancho doing a really good thing this season. Rashford, Rashford had a good season. Didn't get that many goals compared to what a 40 well for a striker. It's a bit shocked at that end, but overall 7.3 rating. Nice to see. Uh, Mason Greenwood, how did he get on this year? 11 goals, didn't really play that well, Mason Greenwood, by the looks of that. Which is sad to see because I think this guy has a lot, and I mean a lot of potential, come in the future. Right, we're just going to go through the big, big signings for me and see how they got on. So Donny van der Beek is actually listed at a transfer, which is I'm very shocked at. Neto was obviously a big signing for Manchester United. He didn't really play that well at all for £40 million. Pound. He played six games, £40 million. Pound. That is incredible. Okay, so... We have Raphael Varane. How did he get on? 29 games. 7.1 average rating. Didn't really play that well, Varane. I would have liked to have seen a lot more from Varane. And I'm sure the manager himself would have if he was still here. Um, next guy, Donny van der Beek. See, why Why is he transferred? He had one game. Wow. One game for Donny van der Beek. That is incredible. I'm not surprised that they listed him off a transfer. But I'm also surprised he only had one game. That is incredible. Right, Cristiano. How would you get on, Cristiano? 37 now, obviously. 25 goals, 2 assists, 4 man of the matches. An average rating of 7.4. That's incredible by Cristiano. Ronaldo, he's obviously saving Man United from a lot. David De Gea, another guy. How did he get on this season? Didn't really do that good at all, De Gea. Only had 18 games. can see 20 goals. And only got kept four clean sheets. Very sad to see from De Gea, but that is how it is. Um, obviously, we're seeing what happened in regards of where Man United finished, if they achieved anything. They sadly didn't. Um, so, it was going to be a case of I was going to sim five years in the future, but um, it doesn't look that way. He's He's been sacked. There is, they've literally just hired him three days ago. Um, Man United. So we'll have a look at what it, what actually where's what's he doing now? Is he is he working or what? Let's have a look. So we've got managers, Ralph Ragnick. He's not still unemployed. It's very shocked. I'm very shocked to see this actually be a thing. But he's had a good career. He's managed quite a few teams. He's built a few teams. So by the sounds of what I've heard from him. Sad to see him go. Was hoping he would have succeeded massively at Manchester. But yes, that is it. Um, he didn't manage to do anything at all at Manchester. As you can see, nothing. Won the third round, quarterfinals. Didn't actually win anything at all. But other than that, that brings us to the end. It has been absolutely fantastic um, to share this off with you. And um, show you his... How he would have gone on at Manchester United. Hopefully he gets on better than that in real life. I mean, personally, from my own perspective, I'm a Newcastle United fan. I hope he doesn't. I mean, I hope Man United don't do good at all. But it would be nice to see a manager rescue this club. And hopefully get them back under winning ways. Um, but anyway, 
thank you very much for watching this video if you've managed to make it through to the end. If you haven't already, smash that like button. Leave a comment down below of what other videos you'd like to see. I do love doing these FM simulation videos. Um, obviously this is my first one in a long time. I would love to keep doing them if you if this be something you'd like to see. I'm more or less going to keep bringing them to the channel when players and managers or whatever is getting linked to clubs. We'll see how they get on at the clubs. I love to do rebuilds and we'll see how things like that pan out in the future. Obviously, if you haven't already subscribed, please make sure to subscribe, turn on that notification bell, and I'll see you in the next video. Thanks for tuning in.